Any video game needs its share of marketing materials to find an audience, and some games excel in the effort to communicate their products to players. The Elder Scrolls Online is one of those games. The role-playing game launched April 2014 and found a loyal and ever-expanding audience over the years. By 2021, it had sold 18 million copies of the game and reported over 2 million active players per month. How did this success come about? Promotional art plays an important part in the efforts of Studio Zenimax to get the game to new players. The game has a roster of four content updates a year, and every update introduces new themes, characters, and lore. Promotional art plays a major role in communicating this new content. Every update has its own key marketing image used in promotional efforts across the board. Social media posts, websites, or print advertisements all show the same image. Key art typically takes up to two months to prepare and execute, and passes a lot of stages before it reaches its final form. This may seem excessive for a single image, but makes complete sense when you know what the image needs to do for the game. Importantly, it has to do so for both groups of players. One is new players who have to get excited about the larger game world, an online high fantasy world where a lot of social activity and dungeon questing is going on. The other group is existing players who care about the new content they will find once the update is live. This means key art needs to highlight this and show things like new suits of armor a player will find in the game, a new guild or new dungeons to explore. For both sets of players, one thing is essential. The art needs to include figures that the player can imagine themselves inhabiting, doing the things offered to them by the gameplay. This leads to images like this one, that was used to introduce the Thieves' Guild to players. This image depicts everything associated with being a member of that guild. A life of untold treasures, but with the dangers of losing it all from those competing to get there first, or striking revenge for your theft. Or look at the homestead image that was used when a new in-game housing system was introduced. Player characters of three different races are seen, swapping stories by a homely fire. Likewise, the Dark Brotherhood is a group of assassins, so the key art for that update naturally depicts a player character performing the assassination. Or rather, it depicts the moment before the character performs the assassination. This is an important feature in all key art. Every image communicates that The Elder Scrolls Online is a story-driven game. This is a major point of emphasis for the artists at Zenimax, who push themselves to inject as much narrative as possible into key imagery. They see their task as crafting narrative in single image illustrations, and they have a great number of tricks up their sleeve to make that happen. The worst nightmares haunt us where we feel safest. At home. At last. It's important for artists that every image tells its own story. Simple as it sounds, the many requirements to key art make the task daunting. What if a game update has action players themselves don't take part in? One update, for instance, tasks you with shutting down supernatural storms, called Harrow Storms. In this scene, a set of enemy characters works on bringing the storm about. This introduces the storms and how they ignite, but not the role of the player characters, and so the artist added two figures in the foreground, who observe what's going on, ready to jump in the fray. This trick is called framing. The player characters frame a second scene in the background. A second trick is designing for eye movement. Artists construct the composition so that the viewer's eye is guided from one object to the next, to help them understand what's going on in one glimpse. In this composition, elements like lightness, color, scale, direction, shapes, and forms guide our gaze from one object to the next, to understand the sequence of events. The large warrior on the right looks at the slain monster at his feet, drawing our attention to his ongoing fight. The female warrior on the left is seeking out new targets for her magic spells, color coding, 
See the bright yellow sparking effect? Ensures we associate the slain enemy at her feet with actions that took place seconds ago. Finally, the archer clearly points at something that will happen very soon, the demise of another monster in the left lower corner of the image. The art thus succeeds in telling the full narrative of this fight. Clues indicate what happened in the past, what happens in the present, and what is likely to happen in the future. It's narrative's design at its best, showing the beginning, the middle, and the possible end of a story, all contained within one single image.